We hope you had a good weekend. It was a fiery one for the NFL after those Friday night comments from President Trump, where he called on NFL owners to fire players who take a knee in protest during the national anthem. And the players, well, they united on the field Sunday. More than 100 knelt, and others stood arm in arm with their teammates. And some teams chose not to take the field during the national anthem. And then there was this dramatic moment. This former Army Ranger, he was the only member of the Pittsburgh Steelers, that went out on the field during the national anthem, hand over heart, and he stood there alone. Yeah, he had served in Afghanistan. He did. And millions, millions taking to social media, as you can imagine. These hashtags sparked 3.8 million tweets, many of those supporting the protests, others against it. And the president, well, doubling down, drawing a line, tweeting, standing with locked arms is good, kneeling is not acceptable. Well, ABC Gio Benitez, he is outside the Washington Redskins Stadium. And Gio, you were there in the locker room last night. What was the feeling in that locker room? Hey there, Michael. Good morning. You know, inside that locker room, there was anger and disappointment. You know, we are just miles from the White House. This is essentially the president's backyard. And player after player told me again and again that they are deeply American. On Sunday night football, the Washington Redskins starting the game with arms linked, some kneeling during the national anthem. The Oakland Raiders sitting down. We went into the Redskins locker room where it seemed players were talking more about what it means to be an American than their winning game. What message do you have for the president? Help make things right. It's not acceptable and not tolerated. From coast to coast, even in London, players sending that message to the president from the football field, linking arms like Patriots quarterback Tom Brady, hundreds kneeling, some raising fists like Giants receiver Odell Beckham Jr. after scoring a touchdown. The players putting on an unprecedented display of solidarity for their league, blasted this weekend by President Trump for allowing them to kneel in protest of racial injustice. It is kind of a surreal scene because both the Tennessee Titans and the Seattle Seahawks refusing to leave their locker rooms during the national anthem. The Pittsburgh Steelers also absent from the sideline during the anthem, all except one former Army Ranger Alejandro Villanueva. The firestorm beginning Friday with Trump speaking at a rally in Alabama. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners when somebody disrespects our flag to say, get that son of a off the field right now, out, he's fired. He's fired! And doubling down in a series of tweets Sunday, writing, standing with locked arms is good, kneeling is not acceptable. NFL attendance and ratings are way down. Boring games, yes, but many stay away because they love our country. I got a daughter. She's going to have to live in this world. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, I'm going to do whatever I got to do to make sure. You know, she could look at, my dad, look at her dad and be like, hey, you did some, you tried to make a change. Him. Trump defending his remarks Sunday. This has nothing to do with race or anything else. This has to do with respect for our country. His son, Donald Jr., going after the NFL commissioner, tweeting, if only Roger Goodell cared as much about domestic abuse and traumatic brain injury as he does about disrespecting America. And overnight, NFL Commissioner Roger Goodell told Sports Illustrated that the way that the league reacted to the president's remarks actually made him very proud. And when he was asked if he was bothered by the president's words, he said this, no, we live in an imperfect society. A public discourse makes us strong. Michael. All right, thank you, Gio. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.